As my vision begins to focus better, I notice that Seth is wearing the uniform of the Incos- OH FUCK! Beautifuls, this is Aroma here, and welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here trying to at least put a throw punch in this stupid ass demon here that we can't defeat. Um, I'm assuming this is a demon that I saw in my dreams. The actual demon inside of me is a guy. I don't know because we're like, kept calling the demon a he, and this one's obviously a girl right here. My dark energy starts to spin around the demon. I don't need the rest of you. The demon's casting a fireball. I realize that they won't make it alone. <sighs> Am I self-sacrificing? Is this what's going on? I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Why? Stay away! We ourselves- Nope. Seth's voice- Ooh. Ooh. What in the hell is happening to me? It's getting quieter. I feel my entire body's going numb and my vision is getting blurry. But at the same time, I feel a newfound wave of strength flowing through my veins. I start to regain my senses. First my hearing, then my sight, then my feeling. No, you damn mortals, die! Nope. I open my eyes to see the demon throw the Inquisitor and Seth against opposite ends of the room. Then the demon throws an arcane fireball towards myself and the Inquisitor, who has no energy to defend himself anymore. That is so badass. It's my turn. I extend my arm forward to block the attack. My skin is tinted green and I have leaves on my body. Is this who I really am? Uh, I guess. I mean, I still look cool. What? Impossible. Even in your true form, you shouldn't be this powerful. <laughs> Seems like I'm going to have to go all out. No more games. You weren't going all out? Oh, shit. The Inquisitor pulls a ball from his coat and hurls it with force at the demon. The ball explodes with a cloud of glittering dust. We're all out of there. What the fuck? Ooh, it's all blurry earlier. That was cool. It worked. Charge! The demon suddenly rushed in. Ooh, Jesus. My face. I was just too. It's you. You weakened me. So? Fuck off, bitch. I feel waves of energy emanating from him, and his right eye glows with ghostly red light. What the hell? Ears are ringing from her floor, and the basement walls tremble. A bright beam hits the demon, the demon was floor cuts off as she falls to the floor. In the name of the Inquisition, I expel you, creature. The Inquisitor snatches a thin blade from, his, from under his cloak and rushes at the demon. Stop! What? Rely, if you kill the demon, she will die too. The Inquisitor snatches a thin blade from under his cloak and rushes at the demon. What the hell? We cannot perform a ritual without a demon. The demon knocks the Inquisitor down with her leg. Seth rushes to the rescue and try to push the demon back to the ground. Kill it now! But you will disappear and I will not allow that to happen. I can't live without you. Talus Seth, that fool. I can't keep the demon pinned down. No matter how much he tries, another moment the demon will kill him. I need to stop this. Inquisitor, kill her. Kill the demon or she will kill all of you. The demon spews smoke in Seth's face and then throws him away. I have no strength to help him, that, to help them. If the demon fires one more time, he won't be able to protect anyone. Pathetic worms, are you seriously thinking of fight with me? This is after destiny. She rises, the demon hovers over everyone, laughing. This is the end. What can I do? How can I save my beloved? Fate is on my side. What can such mortals who oppose me do? Fear paralyzes me and I realize that Seth will die now. Of the demon, the demon something. What happened? Where's the log? Your god, oh, jeez. How do I load the log? Is it this? Okay. Um. Oh, it didn't do. Oh, it didn't load that part. The demon's se severed hand falls to the floor. What happened? Inquisitor, he attacks so quickly. Yeah, he made a loud ass. N Wait, is it? Is is he screaming? Because every time the scream happens, it's him just somewhere on the screen. You are small. The demon's head falls to the floor. Ooh, what? Silence r reigns in the basement. The body of the demon slowly sunk to the ground, as if the air suddenly became water for her. Master Inquisitor, are you okay? I hear voices from the other side of the room, but I can't even turn my head to look. The transformation took all my strength, and it seems that my time is running out. Rely, how are you? Everything's blurry, bro. It's over. The demon's dead. I can't, can't hold on anymore. 
sad. I so quickly realize that what's going on and beckons me to not speak so as to conserve whatever, whatever little energy I have left. He turns to the Inquisitors. I need your help to perform a binding ritual. What? That's insane. We don't even know what class of spirit she is yet. And you want us to bind her to this world? She saved us. Yes, she did, but the demon is dead. The connection between them is broken, and now her essence is flowing through the wide open gate. There is nothing that we can do, and you know it. You're going to let her die without a fight. We can finish the ritual and bind her to me. Don't you dare do that. Bind you to bind me to you. What does that mean? Do we, uh, okay, it won't work. You will lose. Even if it works, then it would be your essence being lost instead of mine. Don't waste your strength. The situation is one is in my hands now, and I would decide what to do. But what's the point in me living and then you eventually dying? You heard the girl. We can't close the gate without a, li a live demon. Now this rift between worlds will close only after a live death. Of course I am. Uh, of course I understand. Do you really think that I'm that dumb? You must help me. I can't bind her. Only the Inquisition can. No, I refuse to do that. You must help her. Binding is the only chance we have now. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm like a burpee up to here. No one has done this before. It's theory craft. What will the consequences? What, what will the consequences be? And even even if it works, we bind her to this world under your control. We can't exactly trust you with her power. Why not? Because you're selfish. You've never done anything in your life for anyone other than yourself. How about you try do try doing something for the greater good for a change? What do you mean? He's been doing stuff for me. Oh shit, I'm blacking out. Seth, hold on, rely. Okay, how about this? Do the ritual and I'll... I've lost too much energy to hear what he says, and I can barely see now. Oh shit. I kind of... Oops. Uh, shit. Uh, my vision is going black. It can only help. Hopes. Shit. I kept freaking hitting my button. Hold on. Hold on. I am not happy with that. Because I didn't really see what they were saying. Oh shit, I, I, I sped too fast. Whatever. Or light, wake up. Seth, I assume Seth uh, sacrificed something. I can hear Seth's voice. My eyelids are so heavy. Did I make it? Seth, hey, you're finally awake. I slowly open my eyes to see him holding me, smiling wild, wild, wildly. Wildly or widely? <laughs> Didn't tell you that everything was going to be okay. Oh, this is so cute. But what did you do? What did you sacrifice? You quit your job or something? What are you... It worked? The binding? As you can see, I told everyone that it would work. Why do people always not believe me? And the gate? The gate. It's still open, though it's not much as before. I just hear... Uh, Mr. Fluffykins, I don't remember his name, but I just hear the purring of him. Either way, I hope this unfortunate fiasco will be over someday. Oh no, H how many days do you have? Well, no one knows exactly, but a rough calculation suggests I have about a year left. What about me? Am I gonna die after a year? A year? It was happening to me qu too quickly and I'm a spirit, but are you sure? Yes, the calculations are correct. I checked it many times. In any case, we have met. We have. Sorry, we have enough time now. A loss of energy is a small speck in the metaphor metaphorical ointment. I'll handle this somehow. Why did you do that anyway? It's suicide. Why are you smiling? I told you to not do that. You're so cute. Don't worry. I have a plan. You're safe now. That's more important for me. Oh my god! I can believe that. It's Wait, the offer you made to the Inquisitor, what did you have to give up? Nothing, I cared about too much. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> As my vision begins to focus better, I notice that Seth is wearing the uniform of the Inquisitor. Oh, fuck! Why? Why? You talked so much mad shit about them and then you had to join them. Seth, did you go and give up your career? I was joking about quitting his job, but uh, shit. The Inquisition is going to put you through hell if you work for them because of what you were like what you were like before. You're taking a huge risk by doing this. Do you understand that you would just shorten your lifespan? And if you are, as soon as you are gone, my essence will flow through the gate again. Yes, I left a career as a necromancer, but work in the Inquisition opens up another prospect for me. Doesn't the Inquisition have access to me artifacts and forbidden knowledge? And working with the Inquisition, it'll be easier to deal with the essence loss issue. And I'll close the gate in less than a year, so don't worry about it too much. Sounds optimistic, but you are... Are you sure about this 100%? 
and the demons. I can fight them and help others, as I'm sure you don't want anyone else to go through what we have. Um, oh, you're so sweet. Plus, I'll be leaving the toxic necromancer environment and I get to spend more time with you. Yes, but it doesn't work, then what? But if it doesn't work, what would all these sacrifices be for? Listen, I don't regret what was done, and I am ready to give more just to see your pretty face next to me. He smiles and tries to show that he doesn't care, but I understand what he did for me. Thank you, I really appreciate what you did. I think it makes no sense now to argue. You will try to calm me down. You're too much. What am I going to do to help you through? Or help you though? Don't think about it. For now, I'm just glad you're finally up. After we recover, we should go talk to the Druid Circle. I doubt any of my former colleagues are going to be able to offer you a job. I'll go get some food for now get you some food sir as that turns around and leave a wild f I idea flashes by my head but i have to voice it as crazy as it sounds seth wait huh i know this sounds a little far-fetched especially given everything we've been through recently and especially given the state i'm in right now you're going to have every right to be worried and scared but 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 i want to join you to join me as an inquisitor Yes, before I was too scared of the demon, but then you told me things such as not having to face this alone and that we're in this together. That's the kind of things that made me believe in you, that brought us closer to one another. I don't want to stop now. In fact, now that I've found my powers, I want, to be, I want that to be the case more than ever before. But are you ready to use, the power, use those powers now? No, I'm not. But I'm fairly certain you aren't well versed in all aspects you should be in to be a member of the Inquisition. We can both train together, and then we can go out to make this world a better place. Together we can close the gate. It's risky and you know it, but I can't really say no to spending more time with you, can I? We'll do it under the one condition that you wait until you're all healed up to start your training. I can't help but smile. I feel this to be the start of a long and promising life side by side with the man I love. I promise. As he turns around to give me some food, I interrupt him. And hey, one more thing. What is it? The uniform, it suits you. It really does, to be honest. Looks good on him. 10 out of 10. Is the end? I still have time. Ideal partner, Seth. <laughs> the icon is so cute. It took Relay a week to recover, much faster than anyone could have expected due to her being a forest spirit. She naturally recovered from her wounds through her innate magic. When she was ready, she inducted herself into a training program alongside Seth, and later on became not only his partner in life, but also in the field of duty. Relay learned to channel the energy of all the nature around her to pro project powerful barriers to shield from and deflect enemy fire, while Kalisith focused on harnessing the arcane forces to unleash powerful magic attacks against their enemies. Of course, he still employed some necromancy here and there, despite the nagging from his superiors. Using the knowledge gained working for the Inquisition, Kalaseth was able to delay his fading by sending the captured demons to the gate instead of himself. For several years, the work for the Inquisition, getting in return more knowledge and lifespan for Kalaseth. With each demon they sent to the gate, it became smaller until one day it just disappeared, but Kalaseth and Relay continued to work for the Inquisition, cleansing the world of the evil, which had almost killed them before. Naturally, the pair had an axe to grind with demons, so they enrolled in the otherworldly dangerous oppression division of the Inquisition. There, they fought side by side for many years, ensuring that no one would have to go through what they once had to. This time, however, Seth didn't fall head over heels into his job and made time to spend with Rely. The pair lived a happy life in his mansion, along with, of course, Mr. Snuffles. Oh, Yay! Oh, what is this? The end. Okay, good. I'm assuming it's not the bad end. Oh, that was so cute! And here are the credits. So we are officially done with Kalaseth's route. I really enjoy that ending. I was really worried that, you know, it was going to be like, oh, he's going to die in a year. But, you know, I, I forgot. This is a game that can have an actual happy ending, even though it sounds really horrible at first. But, um, the only issue I had, but it's, again, I don't think it's the game's fault. It's just, it has to happen. Um, the quickness of relationship of Kalaseth and rely but again i was the person that chose the routes like i i i gave them the option to do the boom booms i don't know um if that changes in any way if you don't maybe it's more of like a friendship route type of thing i don't know thank you for playing that was the quickest credits ever 
Usually I would have to talk on and on and on and on, but I didn't have to this time. But we are officially done with Caliseth's route. I'm not gonna give my full on review until you finish um, Shen Ray's route as well. So then I can go over like all the things I liked about the game and then like some things that I didn't like. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today's episode. Next episode, we're gonna go on to Shen Ray's route and see how that one plays out. So thank you guys for watching, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hunter,